Hello, Forza fans, and welcome to another episode of Forza Horizon 5 Let's Go Live with Playground Games. Today is the first of two very special episodes where we're going to be exploring the vibrant biomes of Mexico. The swamp is, is on the bottom the bottom east of the map, the southern eastern side. Uh, it connects our jungle uh, to the ocean, uh, which is, it connects it to our tropical coast. Um, and with that comes all these amazing, you know, sapphire emeraldy blue waterways that you get uh, and all these you know epic mangrove rooty trees in terms of gameplay we've never had a place like this before yeah. this is, there's so much water that's it's so wet it really makes it really makes some really interesting vehicle choices so one of the cool things about the jungle uh, is that it's well, all over the map we've actually got different types of atmosphere and the the way the the uh, the fog behaves i guess because uh, the jungle's really humid it's it's you know, there's, there's lots of lots of foliage. Um, you get all those really cool light, like god rays coming through, shafts of light mm -hmm. come through. Um, so as you go down to this biome, it's, it's almost completely different to another area of the world, even though it could be the same time of day, because the atmosphere is so much more dense and humid. As we've mentioned before, we've got localized weather this time around. So if it's raining on the volcano and you drive all the way up, it'll actually turn to snow, which is which is um, which is really fun actually, because uh, mm -hmm. again, it really adds to that immersion of making you feel like you're really there. Yeah. It's actually a really great feature for for an open world game like this to just help orientate yourself yeah. when you're just basically yeah. wherever you are on the map, you can kind of spin yeah. the camera and go. Oh, yeah. Volcano, and yeah. you can kind of work yeah. out where you are and get your bearings yeah. using it as a. Yeah. You know, it also, just helps you, um, you know, if you if you're just unsure of, you know, maybe what season am I in, just look at the volcano, <laughs> and the amount of snow <laughs> will tell you. Back up there. <laughs> so this is the uh, the Emerald Circuit. It's a, a road race and an asphalt race. It's it's really cool, and we we picked it because it straddles uh, two of our biomes. So right mm -hmm. now we are in the living desert, where you see all these awesome cactuses and rocky formations. And then as we come around this next corner, we kind of cross over into the another biome, which is the rocky coast. Keen-eyed viewers may have noticed as you went through the, the start gantry, uh, it says Horizon Apex on the gantry there. That Horizon Apex is one of the festivals that you can open as you're playing through the campaign. And it's a festival that's all about road racing, asphalt racing, high performance cars on really nice tarmac like this. So, um, and that's just, yeah, one, one of those festivals you'll be able to open as you're playing. So yeah, really, really cool. And if you're into road racing, then that'll be the place for you to go and hang out. Hello and welcome to another episode of Forza Horizon 5 Let's Go Live with Playground Games. Last time we travelled through jungles and swamps and to the top of a volcano, but today we continue our exploration of Forza Horizon 5's new biomes. But let's have a look at the schedule first. So first, we're going to be taking you for a spin through the Le living desert, sand desert and rocky coast biomes before heading to the Mulahe town for a race. And obviously, before we say goodbye, we'll take more time to answer some of your questions. So let us know what you want to know in chat. Now, I was going to, as normal, introduce Mike and Chris here, but they seem to have completely disappeared. So instead, I'm going to shout, lads, where have you gone? What's going on? <laughs> hey, come this way. So we know a few of you have been complaining that we haven't really shown any new cars for a while on any of the live streams. Oh, we've all seen the M Sport Fiesta before. Everyone's seen a 911. And, you know, we thought, fair point. We haven't actually shown any new cars since E3. And then we were thinking, if we're going to show a new car, we might as well do it with a little bit of flair. Go on, Chris. The 2020 Toyota Supra GR is coming to Forza Horizon 5 on day one. Chris, should you go check out in game? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. That makes a bit more sense now, doesn't it? Come on, gang. Come on, I can see you running through. You're only a little bit late. Hello, hello. 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 <laughs> Welcome both. Are we well? 
Very well, thank you. Great to be here, Charlie. It's a good day, huh? It is. <laughs> good. We've had fun so far. Right, Mike, we'll come to you first. What was all that about? Tell us about the excitement that we've just seen. Was that a super? <laughs> it was a super, Charlie. Uh, yeah, so it's, as I just said, it's been a, it's been a little while since we've done a car reveal. been all the mm -hmm. way since E3, and we thought, why not do it with a little bit of theatre and get a super down here. And we're very kind of Toyota to lend us the car for the day, so we've been having some fun with that. Um, but yeah, thought we'd uh, reveal a new car to the world. Yeah, kick things off with some absolute style. I think you'll agree. Now, Chris, uh, it's worth addressing that you are taking the place of our beloved Andy today as our resident driver, but we do need to take a look at the Supra in-game. So let's dive Absolutely. in and crack on with that straight away. Yeah. So, may as well have a look at it in uh, Forza Vista. Absolutely Ooh. beautiful. There she is. Um, I was saying to Mike earlier when we were uh, looking over the car, <laughs> the, uh, all the, the vents on it, so you can see just behind, uh, next to the tail lights there, right underneath them, uh, in the door, on the fender, they're all fake vents. Um, Toyota put them there so that the aftermarket could uh, put in vents for things like oil coolers and things like that. So when people start upgrading it, um, the, the vent locations were already there, which is absolutely fantastic. So it's a, it's a car that from Toyota is built to be upgraded. Yes. Uh, so which segues on beautifully, it doesn't does. it? <laughs> should we, should we, Maybe we should, should we do that now. Take a look at some of the upgrades. Yep. So uh, we love a body kit or two. So if we've got the fantastic Toyota Heritage kit. Um, I really like this kit. The Toyota unveiled this at SEMA 2019. This is one of my favorite parts of it. The rear bumper changes the tail lights oh, to wow. be like the, uh, well, the Mark V Supra. And then the side skirts as well. And I absolutely absolutely adore this kit. I think it r works really well with the, with the lines of the car. But of course, this being Horizon, gotta have the wide body kit. <laughs> oh, you gotta. <laughs> so no decal here. We're, uh, uh, this is a dev build, but this is a HKS wide body kit. And uh, it's lacking something on the back, I think, isn't it? It is. It's just a little understated almost. <laughs> I think, yeah, there we go. Is that wing? There we enough? go. I think I, that wing's That enough, might just do. <laughs> and I think uh, we also need some wheels to go with this as well, don't we? So let's jump in and put some wheels on it. So again, we've got a bunch of blank thumbnails here. Uh, these are all the new wheels. All the blank ones are all the new wheels coming to uh, Forza Horizon 5. And my favorite ones are right at the bottom. Nice set of work yeah, wheels. So blank because Chris has not yet fully set them up, but we thought we'd, we'd show you these yeah. anyway. Uh, one of the really cool things about the Supra is that this will be one of the cars that is given to every player right at the start of the game. And it'll come delivered with that uh, Toyota Heritage yeah. kit as well in it. So yeah, it's, uh, everyone gets this right at the start of the game because it's an absolutely awesome car. Nice little gift. So let's, uh, let's pop that body kit on it then, shall we? And then should we, should we take it for a drive? I think we better. Yeah. I think we should. And in fact, it's probably worth pointing out here, because um, I know I've seen this question come up loads of times in chat, but we're actually playing this on an Xbox Series X today, aren't we? Absolutely. We are playing it on an Xbox Series X. I think there was a, a lot of confusion about which version of the game we were showing. So yeah, all, everything we've shown so far has been Xbox Series X. This is a, a development build, so there, there may be bugs. Uh, there may be missing thumbnails. There may, there may well That's be other things that we'll spot. part of the fun, isn't if, it? If they're funny, we'll call them out. Otherwise, <laughs> we'll just hope that you don't spot them. <laughs> <laughs> So let's get this on the road then. What is it we're going to be doing? Uh, we're going to be exploring some new biomes, aren't we? Oh, yeah. yes, of course. So which one have we got first? Well, we're starting in the Rocky Coast. Shall okay. we uh, swap out Chris for, for Connor? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, so Chris is actually going to hop off screen now so he can drive without distraction. Ergo, uh, us too. Uh, so instead of taking his face on the sofa, it's going to be Connor Cross. So Connor, if you want to come in, and Chris, if you want to go into your concentration corner. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Very good. The, the smoothest of transitions. <laughs> Hello, Connor. As if by magic. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Would you like to tell us more about the Rocky Coast? Uh, yes, the Rocky Coast. Um, oh, do we need to pan? We, if we can just uh, dip, dip, dip away while we do some, Chris does something. We do some <laughs> magic behind the scenes. Uh, sorry, you just saw some behind the scenes magic there. Um, yeah, so we're going we're gonna to be showing off the, the Rocky Coast uh, to start with. Mm -hmm. Now, that is uh, based on Cabo St. Lucas with this uh, glorious rock arch, which I think we can go back to. Um, it looks a lot better than me. Just <laughs> <laughs> any second. There we go. There, there we go. There we go. Um, <laughs> now, uh, yeah, this is, this is situated on the west coast. Um, it is rocky and it is a coast. There we go. Uh, so there's Nailed lots it. of sea, lots of rocks. Um, we captured this in particular. Um, on a tourist boat, funnily enough, we had photographers actually go round each of these rocks 
and you know, capture hundreds of photos photogrammetry. If Chris looks to the left, you can actually see some of the. Uh, that's the right. <laughs> <laughs> is that the boat? Is that it there? Yeah, the, yeah we, we have actually put the boat in the game. In the game that is uh, uh, <laughs> comparable to the boat that yeah. we used to capture, <laughs> capture the rocky coast. Um, so all, all of this, as we, we mentioned it a few times, but all this stuff's created with photogrammetry as well. So it's mm -hmm. super accurate to real life, which is why it looks so amazing. Um, should we take it for a spin, Chris, in your heavily modified Supra? In its natural environment on the beach. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So how do you actually go about making this area for the game then? What are the fundamental um, elements of the rocky coast? So if, we, if you want to go left here, actually, Chris, um, we can go past some more rocks up close. Um, so <laughs> we, we basically just we work out how we want to make it drivable, where we want uh -huh. the car to go, and what's, what's most fun for the player to explore. Uh, and then, uh, like we said, we, we, we put a lot of photographers in a boat. They took loads of photos of rocks. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you know the, the team you know, recreated that as realistically as together, possible. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that, that's, that gave us our rocky coast. It wasn't as easy as that. Uh, there was, there was so <laughs> Simplified it a bit. <laughs> there were some geniuses behind the scenes pulling it all together. So, some of the cool features, which are a little bit further up from the coast over there, are like hotels, golf clubs. It's like a really like a pristine, like beautiful yeah. holiday location. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And so now, now we're actually heading into the sand, uh, like the sandy desert. Mm -hmm. um, there's big, big. You know, massive sand dunes to go drive around on. Um, it also actually connects, it like goes straight and like dissolves into the ocean, which is, which is really cool. Okay. Um, and yeah, if you go, yeah, swing a right in here, and we can actually go into some of the sand dunes. That's um, stunning. Um, so we're actually, uh, it's actually an autumn season, which is our stormy season. We're uh -huh. at a nice, uh, foggy, or atmospheric morning. And I think it, the lighting's quite cool because it kind of helps show off just how soft that sand is. We've it does. It looks really, really fine. You can really go in there and, you know, deform around in it and kick yeah. up loads of sand. Um, probably not the best thing to do in this car, though. <laughs> we'll stick on the <laughs> tarmac. Have a go, though. <laughs> um, as you call out the tarmac, this is an area of the world where there are just these really long, yeah. sweeping roads as well. It's a, it's the perfect place when you've got, like, hypercar and you just want to get up to the absolute max on the rev limiter. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is the place to go. Now, this looks less like a sandy desert. Are we still in it? Is this another feature of a sandy desert? Um, so, this is Chris, the, is <laughs> Chris has gone a little bit off the uh, agreed path here. Um, <laughs> um, we're we'll actually come, going we'll come the, back to that area in a moment. <laughs> we're actually going into, into a gypsum desert now. Um, oh, I see. It's this really fine mineral uh, that's like, like you know, diamond white. Um, I think it's carcinogenic, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, probably best <laughs> so not to go there in real life. But um, in a video game, uh, you're yeah. you protected yeah. from any ill health effects. All tourism to, to be done within yeah. Forza Horizon 5, then. Yeah, yeah it's, it, it, it's, it looks great in different times of day as yeah. well. It uh -huh. just picks up all that different coloured light coming coming through the sunlight, so you get all those beautiful reds at sunset and then blues in the morning. This just looks like the best place to go racing. Are, are there any races that are actually found up around here? Uh, of course, yes, there are. Yeah. Uh, there's there's a lot of really awesome off-road uh, trails through here as well. Like really mm -hmm. long point to points. Uh, I think Chris is about to show us uh, another cool Ooh, little, uh, yeah. racing environment as well. Um, if we if we hang on. So left at yeah. that wow. tree. You can kind of already get a sneak peek yeah. of it on the mini map. If you resist the urge to jump off the edge, we can we can just just go to the very edge and then just peek over at the Baja circuit. Oh, um, look at that. <laughs> no, just just look over the us. edge. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that, that that's that's fun. Uh, there's some really great routes around that, in and around it as well. Mm -hmm. um, that was also actually recreated from from photos. Our team actually went and found some satellite data of, you know, recreated the roads and how they look and how the sand actually changes colour, which is that's so cool. Which is really cool as well. We'll take a closer look at that in a, in a, in a future stream, I think. Yeah. Uh, now we have left the uh, gypsum desert and very mm -hmm. much in the living desert. Yeah. Here we go. So what's this then? What is li the living desert for those people who might not be familiar with that term? So this is based on the Baja California desert. Um, it is, it's kind of contrary to what most people think of a desert in that it's, there is sand, but there's an absolute ton of foliage. There's mm -hmm. all these lovely, like, you know, thick mesquite bushes everywhere. There's loads of these, like, yellow uh, and celia bushes. Um, Chris is, Rocks. Chris, Chris is lost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you okay, mate? Yeah. <laughs> You're just, just taken aback by all the cacti. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's, there's lots of different cacti. Um, but we have all these weird alien-type plants called boojum. Um, those things there that Chris has smashed through. Um, <laughs> this was all <laughs> planned, wasn't it, Chris? <laughs> um, Lawlessly executed. Yeah. Uh, there's all these really cool little settlements as well. Mm -hmm. um, they've all got their own little story there as well, and you know, they really feel like they're part of the world. Uh, really, really true to sort of Mexican towns and things that we found in the area. Mm -hmm. 
I'm remembering what you said in previous streams as well, and like that volcano is just always looming, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, where Chris just took a little detour, actually, there is a, there's a really nice trail that goes uh -huh. up there that um, is even funner coming down the other side. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> there's, there's all these like a fantastic, great big rock. Um, you know, there's all these big rock walls here to go, you know, jump off and skirt around. <laughs> but there's all these big rock structures. Um, that they're, re they're really like dominating in the environment as well. That mm. you just suddenly come around the corner and there's this massive thing of geology. Um, yeah, I think we're actually, yeah, we're just about to go into another little bit of biome, which is um, this sort of lava, um, like an oh, old yeah. lava desert that um, from years ago when the volcano um, did its thing. Uh, it <laughs> did that volcano thing. <laughs> it did the volcano thing. Yeah. And now that lava is rocks. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and that, that's just like another, another difference to the visual of the environment. And that's full of all these big volcanic rocks that you can skirt in and around. And um, that's really cool. Yeah, I think just, uh, I mean, we've said it already, but just the, the pure density of yeah. foliage here. There's just so many separate yeah. bits that come in here to make this scene just mm -hmm. feel so full of yeah. life. And you could see them coming as well. When we went through like the sand desert and we were yeah. coming up to Liz the li I said lizard desert. <laughs> lizard desert. I'm sure lizards live there. <laughs> anyway, the living desert, you could just see it approaching because suddenly like it just got thicker mm. with, with all the foliage going on. Look at that. So this is actually, yeah, Chris, if you stop and we just sort of pan around, um, you can see all the, the detail that's gone into the roads of this game. Mm. Um, <laughs> 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 they say no, keep Hula, going. Hula gun driver tires. <laughs> um, <laughs> So there's actually a seasonal river here because this is a riverbed that uh, in autumn floods because it's uh, it's the stormy season. But um, yeah, like all all that detail and the roads really cool. Oh, those um, cracks. It also when it, some some areas where it's really sandy, those cracks actually fill up with sand, which mm -hmm. which is a nice touch. So yeah, photo mode's going to be um, gonna give a lot of options for the photographers out yeah, there absolutely. to get some cool environments. Um, okay. But yes, yeah, I think there's a yeah there is a sand road around here that will um, will show off some of the cool new effects that um, the team have done. Mm -hmm. Um, we've really focused on um, tyre smoke and making sure that all of the, like, the dust, dust kick-up feels really full and voluminous. Mm -hmm. um, it feels like it's you know, lit from loads of, well, it is lit from loads of different angles now. It's a big entity in the world. Um, and, Such a cool detail. And, and for the drifters out there, when you're on tarmac, um, the, the tyre, I mean, Chris actually, I think Chris helped implement the system. Um, it, uh, the tyres are actually, or well, the tyre smoke is related to heat, mm -hmm. based okay. on how, how hot the tyre would be, it kicks off how, that amount of smoke. Uh, just, just to add an, another layer of, of realism in there. Um. I think Chris going first person now, responding to some requests from chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at it. Yeah, and of course, that, that tyre heat as well is affected by seasons. Exactly. So yeah. in, in the hotter seasons, your tyres heat up faster, you get more, more drift kick up. Yeah. And in a car like this as well, it's uh, just perfect for it. Yeah. Lovely. Awesome. Well, that was amazing. And those are the biomes we're going to talk about today. But you do have another race to show us like you did last time. You're spoiling us. So what is it we're going to be going and looking at now? Yeah, so we just uh, dip the feed so Chris can do a little bit of... <laughs> <laughs> little bit of magic. Uh, we're going to travel to the beautiful uh, Mexican town of Mulahe, which is mm -hmm. based on a real location. And we're going to take part in the Mulahe Town Scramble, which is a uh, scramble, a dirt circuit that weaves through the town of Mulahe. Um, and it's a, a really fun, yeah. really tight little circuit. Loads of, loads of height changes. Uh, okay. let's, let's take a look, I guess. Jump in. Let's do it. Have we got our money that Chris is going to do this better than Andy? Um, <laughs> Andy did do it blindfolded. <laughs> well, there you go. The bar is set. <laughs> Chris points to the fact yeah. there are things obscuring yeah, it. Yeah, he <laughs> had, Chris has got a camera in front of him. Um, but only we know that, yeah, so yeah. no one else does. You need nice. to prove it to everyone in chat now. <laughs> So uh, two weeks ago, uh, we looked at the Emerald Circuit, which mm -hmm. was an asphalt route, and it was part of the Apex, Horizon Apex Festival. We can see there as we go under the race gantry, this is part of the Horizon Wilds Festival, which is a festival that's dedicated to dirt racing, off-road racing, all that like really loose surface racing. Which fun is, stuff. Yeah, exactly. It's so much fun when you're in an awesome rally car like mm -hmm. the, uh, the Evo here. Uh, Moolahay is in, in a part of the Living Desert that's it's really hilly. Um, I was, yeah, I was actually so going to ask where this is based and what we're looking at. So it's actually in, it's like the southern part of the, of the Living Desert. So okay. it, the terrain gets more hilly, um, it's less rocky, um, and it's actually a big river that connects to the ocean. So mm -hmm. there's, um, there's like, a, like a massive oasis at the bottom of it, I guess you could wow. call it that, um, which is just full of palm trees. And, um, and that, that, that blends out into that jungle vista you can see there. I think... Uh, 
think we've got some broken checkpoints there, haven't we? Have you gone through one, Chris? <laughs> So, Chris, currently in sixth place. I feel like Andy would have done better than this by now. So. I think he would have finished it by now, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Both laps. Um, yeah. Mamula Hay is this um, it's really colourful little quaint town. Um, I think we've, we've even hidden a uh, hidden a mural in there somewhere. OK. You know, that want to go find those. Um, and well, one of the things we really wanted to try and try and maintain that we saw from the reference was all these you know, cables that kind of hung across the road with all this lovely bunting. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we've got... We've, on some good technical lengths with the, with the technical wizards at PLEG to make sure that we can get that to work. Yeah, it's a town that you, you spend spend a little bit of time here in the early part of the game. And mm -hmm. It just has so much charm and character. It just yeah. feels like really, it feels like real Mexico. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's, it's not necessarily, although you, it is a beautiful place, you could go on holiday there. This is like, I think where, yeah. what, people, what Mexicans would think of as like the, the kind of places. Okay, they would authentic. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Every single house has got its own little charm, it's slightly different. I remember you saying on a previous stream that obviously all the houses are all really colorful mm -hmm. because they're intended to be as such. I just think that's like, such a lovely touch. This amazing orange one here, and uh -huh. it's like a pink one, like just opposite it. That's, um, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's just really pretty. Yeah, the pink, opposite, the pink one opposite that the uh, player may get the opportunity to to live in at some point. Yeah, that, could, that could be one of your homes. Oh. Um, well, we didn't show it, so <laughs> I guess that, <laughs> guess that remains a mystery for yeah. a, a, a future show. Yeah. <laughs> so, Chris keeps hitting those oh, broken checkpoints. Oh, one. Broken um, checkpoints, Chris. It's a bit where he stopped but, over the stream he, and just focus on this yeah, now. <laughs> he has uh, he's <laughs> willingly shown a broken bit of the game just to get into first place. <laughs> 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 that will be remembered. <laughs> I know it will also be fixed as well. That is no, no, yeah, <laughs> a, yeah. a, a bug that is already yeah. fixed in a new yes. build. In this. Yeah. All right, so he's only got one corner left. Uh, I think he's got enough of a enough of a lead now that we can call it done. So well done, Chris. Well done. You can come back another week, Chris. <laughs> Great work. Very well done. Very good. That was stunning. I really, I love that you, you're showing us all these different races, and we, you know, it's not too long until we get to do them ourselves. But I think chat have some questions they would like you to answer now, if that's okay. Are you braced? Are we ready? Let's go. Let's do, Let's do it. Okay. So the first question comes from Xbox Berg, and it says, "Will there be a moving train around the map?" I suppose we did see that in four. So are we bringing it back. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, I think yeah. it's a. It, it was such a fun part of Horizon Four that I don't think we could really do a map yeah. without yeah. one. Now they are just yeah. uh, they add so much dynamism yeah. to, to the world. It, uh, it lives in the canyon. Okay. Um, and it's it's. I think it's one of the cool. It's the coolest train we've done, isn't it? it because is. you can weave in and around the, the train tracks and it goes across <gasps> over the road. I think we saw we, we saw the, it in the, the game. Yeah, in the, yeah. In the uh, E3 demo. The okay. Got a sneak peek of it only on, only on screen for a couple yeah. of seconds. Oh, maybe but, I need to go yeah. find it again. I don't remember yeah. a train. I need to go hunting yeah. for that Plus now. Plus, it's in the canyon with all that like ray traced audio that, mm. that um, mm. Fraser was talking about. So it sounds mm. really cool. Lovely. Okay, great question. Uh, the next one comes from Gaming Adler HD, who asks, "How many festivals are in the game?" So there are six. 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 Uh, yeah. I, was kind of, I was trying to quickly count them in my head then. But yeah. <laughs> Very good. Six, six, that's wild. Okay. Uh, next question comes from the real Skeb. Skeb, who says, uh, is there normal commercial cars following street laws? In brackets, is there civilian traffic still? Well, the one that we saw earlier clearly was not. Yeah. So that was not civilian traffic. That was a <laughs> that was a driver tar uh, based on a uh, one of the dev team probably. So that, mm -hmm. it, as you know, driver tars pick up the the skills of the player which they yeah. are they belong to. So someone there is obviously <laughs> like to go around, aggressive. smash into people. Uh, but regular regular civ traffic is absolutely still part of the game. Yes. Lovely. Okay, the next one comes from Croconius, who asks, are we getting uh, a physical performance impacting damage in Forza Horizon 5, or will it remain purely cosmetic? Uh, yeah, so the, sim the functionality there is, is similar to Forza Horizon 4. So there is a setting within the uh, assists where you can turn on sim damage if you want to. Okay. Um, it might not give you the, the, the great experience, because a lot of the gameplay you do, such as danger signs and things like that, might damage your car. Um, Whipping it around. <laughs> you might not want to crash it. It makes it very, very difficult. Yeah. But it is, <laughs> it is an option if you're looking for that authentic experience. Yep. Lovely. OK. And the last question comes from Alex Kawina, though I have a feeling um, almost every single person in chat has asked this at some point. They're asking, full map reveal when? When? Because we did make a promise, didn't we? We um, did. We, we, did. So we, we should show, should we show it. it now. Oh, why don't we? Let's just have a look now. Let's have a look now. Right, go on, Chris. 
Right, so Chris, back, back, back behind the wheel, but this time driving on the map. So we so. Uh, so tell you what, should we, should we go back and show just where we've driven on the map? Um, yeah, so, so we can see the scramble there that we've just yeah. done, right? That's, so, so that was Mulahay, yeah. that's a scramble. There's the, uh, the El, El Arco uh, in Cabo, uh, and then going up, we've got the, the sand dunes, and then a bit of that gypsum desert, and there's the, there's the Baja circuit. Um, That's when we peeped out earlier from That's over the hill, right? Did. So yeah. people can now get a good look at that and start to work out how they're going to yeah. build their own routes through yeah. there using mm -hmm. uh, Event Lab. And then if you go right, you can just see how massive that volcano is. It's a um, big volcano. <laughs> so on the right there, that massive stretch of road is the uh, asphalt switchbacks we okay. showed last time. And the other massive switchback is the dirt one as well. So you can go up either of those ways or cross country and there's probably about 100 different ways you can jump off of it as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, perfect. <laughs> uh, and then here we are in uh, Guanajuato. Um, that's that amazing city, which has also got the um, canal, the tunnel, yeah, tunnel. Mm -hmm. I was just stuck on tunnel. The tunnel <laughs> system underneath, so you can dr drive through there um, and then come out of this beautiful city. Um, and then just north of here, um, there is... Uh, it's the canyon. It's the canyon. It's we were canyon. just talking about this with the train, yeah. so... Mm -hmm. uh, don't think you can make out the train track on the on the map there, but the train basically runs full length of the canyon. Doesn't yeah, it? yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. There's another awesome yeah. drift road there as yeah. well that takes you down into the canyon. The canyon is, I think, it's two thirds of the length of the map as well. So wow. Okay. Yeah. Massive. It's a great road. Fairly significant yeah. then, huh? Um, now we're looking at the um, tropical coast on the east of the map, and down there is the town of uh, Playa Azul. Uh, this is what we showed with that, that beautiful mural art by um, Farid Reda. Mm -hmm. um, so that there's, there's actually two of his murals in that town for the for the mural hunters. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Tell them <everyone> <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah, so we will get a closer look at this at this yeah. bio in, in, a, in a future stream. But whereas the rocky coast we saw earlier is really dusty yeah. and dry and rocky, this is super lush yeah. and green and tropical. Mm -hmm. It's uh, uh, it's worth saying as well, we are going to... Let's put up a high-resolution one of these, um, if we haven't already. Um, so don't worry about stitching this thing together. We'll, um, we'll, give, you, we'll give you the proper one. Yeah, so check you can out. all zoom in yourselves check and it out figure it out. It. Yeah, it'll be on our Twitter and Insta within the next few minutes, I'm reliably insured. So, yeah. Uh, Perfect. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. No, no need to be screen-capping this. There will be one out that you yeah. can just uh, digest at your heart's content. Yeah. <laughs> So Have are there any other like particular features you want to call out or any favourite areas? If you head slightly north, Chris, um, I think it's worth calling out the stadium. Um, so we showed this Very during nice. our E3 presentation. It's where we had that uh, event lab creation with all the bowling pins and the jumps and stuff. Uh, it's a really big open space. It's the perfect place to get in there and build with yeah. using our amazing UGC tools. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know you've mentioned previously, but the map's bigger than Fort Horizon 4. Like, to what scale or how, like, how, how does that actually translate? It's 50% uh, bigger. Okay. So one and a half times the size of Fort Horizon 4. Yep. Gorgeous. Yeah. And this is the highway you've mentioned as well, right? Yes. The you, longest one so far? Yeah. Yeah. For more, more or less the uh, bottom corner up to the top corner, uh, the longest we've had yeah. in any of the Horizon titles. And, uh, and yes, there is a danger sign at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Just absolutely yeet yourself yeah. off the end of it. Love of it. Yeah, straight out. <laughs> Um, so your yeah. favourite is the stadium. Or uh, did you have another favourite, Mike? Uh, my favourite area actually is, is the main festival, which is just it's where there, Chris yeah. is uh, okay. highlighting right now. You can actually see that it's uh, built around an old abandoned racetrack, so there's a, a really awesome uh, race circuit through there, which I think, well, I think it will become the natural test track for people when they're, yes. when they're building out their, their tunes, and I think we'll probably use it to test out some vehicles in a, in a future stream. It's also got that uh, runway running right the way through it, uh, which acts as a drag strip. Uh, and in the in, in the centre of the festival, that main bit there, where you can you can just see that runway intersecting. Mm -hmm. uh, this is amazing artwork that's painted down onto the floor as well. It's like a really beautiful area to go and explore. Gorgeous. Oh, you, Connor, where's your favourite? Um, oh, I've got so many, obviously. Well, go um, through them all then, obviously. <laughs> let's, let's talk about the whole map. Um, yeah, Chris, if you if, tell you what, let's look at the jungle. So what we showed off... Yeah, tell you what, I've just been reliably informed that the image is now on Twitter. It is, OK. So if you want to go find these areas at the yeah. same time we're talking, that could be a fun little, like, <laughs> a bit to do. Anyway, you were saying... <laughs> I was trying to think of a really <laughs> clever word and it escaped me, so I just said um, bit. <laughs> Uh, so, so yeah, I think the jungle is one of my favourite areas. Um, and in the middle of the jungle is actually this, like, vast water network of, of waterfalls. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the heart of that is this great big waterfall called Agua Azul, um, which I haven't stopped going on about, as Mike uh, assured me, uh, since the beginning of the project. Because um, <laughs> it's, it's just such... It, um, it, it's, it's so stunning. It's, um, mm -hmm. it's, amaz it's amazing work of art by our team who have been working, you know, tirelessly to get over this technical challenge. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but it's... 
it's amazing because you can jump off of it, you can drive around it. It looks good at all times. Is this the one that we saw in the trailer? It is the same one, yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, there it is on the map there. Um, you can see just how big that thing is. Yeah. Um, so it, it covers most of the jungle. Um, yeah, he's, he's not joking either. We started, he started talking about about three minutes after we chose Mexico <laughs> as the location. So there's this We've waterfall. Got to do it. It's called the Aguas or Waterfall. Before we talk about <laughs> cars or anything else, there's this waterfall that has to be yeah. in here. All right, mate. It's great. It's great. It's a great waterfall. Um, but yeah, there's that. I mean, we have. I mean, People have already spotted all the temple sites, I guess. Um, but we've got Teotihuacan there, um, Tulum on the on the east coast. Um, mm -hmm. We've got uh, Ekbalam. Uh, there's the giants of Tula, and there's uh, there's Ushmal as well. So, yeah, I think temple sites. I mean, they're inherently cool. So yeah, they, yeah. they probably are my favourite. Love areas. seeing those the yeah. other week. That was brilliant. Well, lovely. I think that's everything of the map that we're going to go through today. And that's everything we have time for today. So um, thanks to all of you in chat, as always, for being mega inquisitive, as always. And thank you, Mike, Connor and Chris. Stand there. Well done, Chris. <laughs> uh, for guiding us through Mexico today. We'll have more cars to show you on the next Let's Play, no, Let's Go stream later this month as we continue to tick down the days until Forza Horizon 5's launch on November 9th. Keep up with all the latest Forza Horizon 5 news and updates by following Forza Horizon social channels. Thanks again for tuning in today. We will see you next time. Adios. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>